Welcome to Techix Media live from Jitex Global 2025. I have with me right now Mr. Anis Mulyatil. He is product line manager Middle East region critical power systems at Aton. Let's welcome Mr. Anis on Techix Media. Welcome back on Techix. Thank you, Rabba. It has been a pleasure and uh, it's uh, glad to meet you again here. It's it's a pleasure to have you here with us again. Last time we spoke at uh, Jitex 2024 and it's Jitex 2025. uh so uh, anis tell me that ai has become a reality and ai in data centers now demand huge power infrastructure yes. so how is eton supporting it the one major uh, change that is happening because of the ai driven demand is uh, the huge fluctuating power requirement and that also in uh, sub cycles if we talk in the electrical engineering terms and uh, the ability to support those kind of ai loads especially these uh, gpu servers uh how we are enhancing is uh, the ups systems which is supporting these loads they are able to manage the fluctuating demand or switching loads we say and at the same time limit the impact of these kind of load behaviors on the grid that also is uh, extremely important from that perspective so giving that capability for the supporting infrastructure to drive the ai data centers or allow them to operate in a uh, what you call reliable manner that's how it an asl thing that that's correct so we see ai systems as ai systems evolve predictive maintenance and digital trends are equally become becoming important how is eton integrating these technologies into its product ecosystem So from a, if you look at a digital thing perspective uh, uh, and the impact on the predictive maintenance so what level of information that uh, you are able to extract or an asset which is infrastructure asset is able to provide into the digital thing model that helps uh, to predict and see the system performance and from a predictive maintenance perspective what actions need to be taken before something happens so uh, condition monitoring within the infrastructure for example condition monitoring of components within a ups system uh, which is able to import or export that data into a central monitoring platform which helps in taking the appropriate uh, decision and actions well in advance before something goes wrong so right Uh, so we need we know that Eton has strong presence in Middle East and Africa uh, with the customer experience ses- uh, centers in Dubai and Cairo how are these facilities supporting education training and adoption of smarter energy systems say again uh, the success uh, from Eton perspective we see the more knowledgeable our customers are the knowledgeable our supporting channel partners are our success is more so we use these customer experience centers both in cairo and in dubai to regularly conduct uh, training sessions uh, uh, across the stakeholders in the industry be it is uh, end users their facility managers uh, design engineers uh, or consulting engineers or our channel partners to continuously educate give them the uh, real exposure on to our products technologies as well as the industry standards because it keeps on evolving Uh, so we need to have them educated on the changes that is happening in the standard how this uh, mitigation and safety compliances are ensured in a deployment of the solution yeah education plays a major part training as very well. very right uh, we know that eton has uh, expanded its footprint in the region through partnership with mtc how has mtc helped eton grow its business and unlock new opportunities in the region MTC like any other distributor gives us more breadth in the market with our local stocking capability and access to a wider range of uh, partners and system integrators and through them uh, to reach a larger end user community it obviously helps us uh, uh, in rolling out that growth ambitions that we have with a shared vision definitely uh, that's how distributors play a role and we are happy about that so last but not least as power infrastructure becomes more digitalized we cannot ignore cyber security and data integrity and major as major concerns how does eton ensures uh, system resilience 
and protection uh, in this scenario. Infrastructure cyber security is actually an emerging uh, technology as well as challenge. Uh, whenever you have a connected asset, especially the entire infrastructure, we call it as uh, everything as a grid. So the moment you have connectivity, there is the risk of cybersecurity. So in the cybersecurity modeling of the infrastructure, there are new standards like the IEC 620443-4-2, etc. One important aspect is the endpoint of cybersecurity reinforcement. So the connectivity port of any asset that is being connected to the network, that need to be cybersecurity certified. So from Eaton perspective, uh, as a policy, we follow that any Eaton equipment coming with uh, a connectivity into a network should be cyber security certified. So that is how we ensure that at least uh, an Ethan equipment is not becoming a point of vulnerability in a customer's infrastructure network. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Anis. It was uh, great talk. Uh, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Okay.